right, uh, guys, there's uh, two things I realized that I forgot to mention in the video that I just wanted to touch on real quickly. One of those is this structure right here, which is the septum, um, the interventricular septum here. And, and what this does is it separates the left side of the heart from the right side of the heart. Uh, the interventricular septum specifically separates the left ventricle from the right ventricle. And what that does is it keeps the oxygenated blood on the left side of the heart from mixing with the deoxygenated blood on the right side of the heart. That way you're not sending blood that's lower in oxygen than it should be out to your body tissues. Um, so this is the interventricular septum. It's really important here. Um, the other thing I forgot to mention, if you notice the wall of the left ventricle here is a lot thicker than the wall of the right ventricle. The muscle on the right side is a lot uh, thinner. There's a lot less muscle on the right side than there is on the left side. Uh, the reason for that, hopefully you can maybe take a guess, but the reason for that is that the left side of the heart has to pump much harder because it's got to pump blood all the all over the body, all the way from the top of your head to the bottom of your toes. Whereas the right side of the heart only has to be able to pump blood out to the lungs and back and the lungs are right next to the heart. So it's not pumping as hard. The right side is not pumping as hard as the left side is. So the muscular wall ends up being a lot thinner because just like any other muscle, the more you use it, the bigger it gets. Um, so those are two things that I forgot to mention that I wanted to add. All right. Until next time.